Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency. I'm Vaibhav Sukandi. This is chapter 1 of Arduino for Beginners. In this tutorial, I'm going to answer three important questions. First one, why we need to learn programming? Second one, how we can learn programming? Third one, what is the benefits of learning programming? So without wasting your time, let's get started. Let's talk about why we need to learn programming. First thing, if you are going to work under different domain other than not uh, other than technology say for example if you are interested to work in sales and marketing if you are interested into management if you are interested into business development or if you are interested in non-technical background if you are interested into a non-technology domain then you need not to learn a program yes you need not to learn a programming if you are not entering into technology domain you have to learn the thing which is important for your particular domain. You have to master your skill in that domain. But if you are very interested to enter into technology domain, if you are very interested to work under a product development cycle, if you are very interested to work for design and development of technology solutions, if you are interested to design a new electronic system or anything other than electronic system which is within under uh, technology domain, then you have to learn programming as much as possible. It's mandatory and it is very essential for understanding the entire picture of the entire system or a solution that you are going to build. If you are a DIY developer, if you are a creator, if you are an enthusiast with respect to designing an electronic system, programming is going to be a one important skill you must learn. If you are working under a hardware design development uh, team also, if you understand how the programming system works or how the firmware developer is going to design the program for this hardware that you are developing, then you develop it much more efficient, much more smarter, much more better than developing without having a knowledge of programming. It is not necessary that you have to have a 100% knowledge about it. It is essential to have a bits and pieces about the different domain which is interlinked with the domain that you are working with. Say for example, I am a PCB designer. While designing a PCB, I understand how exactly the programming person is going to write a program for that particular embedded system that I am designing. Because of which, I design my PCB much more better, much more efficient, much more compatible with the software they are developing. Like the same way, if you are a DIY product developer, if you want to develop your own project, if you want to create your own system, or if you want to create your own product that is sellable in the market or commercialized in the market, you have to understand a bit and pieces of programming. If it is possible, you can learn the entire programming, then it is well and good. These are the reasons why you need to learn the program. Let's talk about how we can learn programming. Answer for this question is already in your hand, right? You can learn it anywhere. YouTube is a biggest platform where you can learn anything from anywhere to anywhere. But you must remember that you are not going to learn the things without organizing the things. So you must understand and you must identify such a tutorial where it is going to be organized and instructed by the expert in that domain. If you are learning a programming with respect to any of your domain, you can learn it by YouTube. You can learn it by all the LMS platforms available out there and you can enroll for the courses and you can learn it however you want it. But the point here is, are you going to learn in the organized manner and as per the requirement you want to do after this particular course? So in this particular course, I am going to organize the content such that anybody can learn the programming for Arduino Development Board. We are focusing on absolute beginners, we are focusing on the people who are just now started with respect to designing electronic system or a DIY creator who wanted to learn um, basics of uh, Arduino programming. So you can learn the programming anywhere in the entire online uh, entertainment right now. Very important point is you need to find the organized content. So if you find the organized content, I am very sure you can learn any kind of programming that you want in the domain that you are interested in. But right now, in this particular tutorial or in this particular series of tutorials that we are creating, we are going to work on organizing the content for design and development of Arduino Development Board uh, and its programming. Let us talk about what are the benefits of learning programming. I already said, if you are not interested in technology domain, if you are not intended to go into the technology domain as a full-time career, then programming is not going to help you. 
if you are slightly interested in technology domain also then programming is the best way to start with technology designing or technology solution development but the people who are working in a full time or they are very committed to their career into hardware design or into you know technology solution they are essentially need to go through at least one knowledge with respect to programming so we need to have a bilateral skill if i am a pcb designer if i am a hardware developer if i don't know how the software works which is dumped on my embedded system that i'm going to design then it is big, it is going to be a big communication gap between software developer and the hardware developer so every hardware developer should have a basic knowledge with respect to software that they are going to work with and the software developer need to have a bit some basic knowledge with respect to hardware design industry so that they can communicate each other they can work each other and they can sync each other and the product will be very effectively designed and efficiently working so these are the benefits and we we will be having a lot of benefits with respect to our career it is like a bilateral skill we need to have bilateral skill whenever we are working in a different industry i am a basic designer and i know a bit some pieces about firmware development bit some pieces about design and development of uh, some embedded code for the hardware that i am developing which helps me to design it much more better the same way when you are a diy creator or when you are enthusiastic with respect to electronics you have to focus on two things one is hardware design in early stage i am talking about you have to talk about a hardware design you have to learn about hardware design and then you have to talk about the software development if you can think both the things at the initial stage and you can organize yourself how to design the software and how to design a hardware and how to synchronize them that is going to help you to design any kind of embedded system in the later stage it also help you to go ahead in your career you know put yourself in ahead of the curve in the career so that you can you know get the all opportunity that is available in in that particular domain if you are working in any of the domain so these are the major benefits that we get into when we are having a bilateral skill so if you are into technology domain make sure that you have a bilateral skill hardware design as well as software design I don't want you to be having a hundred percent knowledge about one thing. That is all about your career. If you are very focused about software development, then you have to have a hundred percent focus on that. Along with that, put at least a ten percent of focus on hardware or ten percent of focus where your software is going. The same way, the hardware developer should have at least a ten percent focus on where the software is coming from and how we are going to integrate all those things. that is the most important point and that is going to be a very important skill in the next decade these are the three important questions we must ask ourselves before jumping into the further tutorial of arduino for beginners i hope you understood why you need to be a programmer or why you need to learn the programming and then how you can learn it and the third but not the least what are the benefits of having a programming skill I hope you enjoyed the entire tutorial. Let me know your thoughts or suggestion in the comment section so that we can understand and we can tailor our further tutorials as per your requirement. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. See you again in the next video. Until then, bye bye. Consider subscribing to our channel Linked Frequency. Tune yourself to make a difference.